Well, hello everyone. It is Mr. Sunshine coming to you live right here in uh, South Florida, and we got a special treat for you today. Uh, what we have here is a mm, uh, Curtis number model 15 key machine and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this thing stripping it all down and then we're going to go ahead and refurbish this thing we're going to clean this all up we're going to clean all of this and then we're going to show you exactly uh the finished result uh this is the model 15 this was the uh last model that curtis made the other one had the wheel on it the other one had a post on it and uh as you can see it's still in good shape no question about it but uh, you can see it looks a little rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you exactly how we're going to take this apart and how we're going to get it all together. So first off, we're going to pull this pin out of here. We're then going to go ahead and pull this nut off of the top, which we're going to use. We're going to use this right here. This loosens the top nut. It actually has a washer on it. So we're going to pull that aside. We're going to go ahead we're going to pop this little C-clip off. You want to make sure you don't lose that C-clip. It'll fly off, and then you're going to lose it. We're going to take that off. We're then going to punch the pin down through as such. Pull it out from the other side. This comes out just like this. <laughs> well, that baby's really in there, isn't it? push it down a little bit there we go you got that out we go ahead and pull the the top piece off right here you can see the spring the spring load it's still in good shape but again it needs cleaned up we're going to go ahead and we're going to loosen the allen uh, set screw up on top we'll go ahead and just take that out completely strip that out we also have a screw right here this screw holds that top spring and the carriage spring, we go ahead and take that down, we separate that. We're going to pull this spring off of here as such. This actually pulls off just like that. So we got that stripped down just like that. We'll go ahead and take this spring off so we don't lose the spring. That's going to come off like that. We go ahead and strip this down. This comes off. We go ahead and then pull this right off of here. That separates just like that we got that done now we come down to the base we're going to go ahead and see if we can pull these off just like that there's one uh this one this one's actually going to be a little more difficult they glued them on it's been on there for years oh gonna have to work ourselves around that get a screwdriver down there we're gonna put some wd-40 down there well we'll just wait on that we go ahead and pull the lever out this is held in with a screw you take this out we go ahead and pull that out just like that you can see everything's dry it's all going to get cleaned it's all going to get lubricated by the time we're done with this it's good there you take that off we then pull this pin there's a pin here that holds this uh anvil in there so we're going to go ahead and pull the pin out like that we then run the screw in it pulls the anvil out we drops the spring out we go ahead and we're going to part take the uh, base out of the end here these are going to come out with two screws as such come on there we go there's one there's two there's the anvil that's the piece there that this slides in just like that you see this is all kind of uh grungy looking we're going to clean all of that that's all going to get taken care of uh we're then going to go ahead we're going to pull this out as such this is going to come out of here this is your adjustment which we will adjust it after it's all back in together and then there we go we got it all taken apart there it is right there and uh we're going to go ahead and start cleaning all of that uh as a matter of fact i would love to get this this off of here Oh, this one's really stuck on there. Now, this is an old key machine. This key machine made by Curtis. It operates. It'll cut Ford, GM, Chrysler. It'll fit, cut some foreign automobiles, 
motorcycle locks, uh, it, motorcycle keys, everything. There's a separate cams and carriages that fit these. And uh, I, I've had several of them. I actually probably have about uh, maybe close to 20 of them right now that I have refurbished over the last uh, couple of months. Uh, people have been sending them down to me. And uh, we, we refurbish them and make them look like brand new. Oh, my God. They really glued that some bitch in there. Like, you can't believe. I can't. I've been to two world fairs. i never seen anything like this. Push that down in there. Mm, maybe put a little bit of this down in there. So we'll let that soak down in there, and then we'll see about getting that out. So there it is. We'll get that out of there. Carl, let me tell you something, Daddy. We're, yes, it's all. You can see that mess. Hold on a minute. Let me get you something here. This will get done. We'll actually set this on there. There's nothing we're going to hurt. These are ones that have been completed. Uh, you can see them right here. Uh, this is the code book. We can move this out of the way. Let's show you. All right, here they are. Here's one actually we'll pull out of here. This one's been totally redone. It's in uh, perfect condition, all refurbished, all polished up. Looks like brand new. Uh, we actually have another one here. Take a look at this one. Let me get this out of the way. So that one's going to end up looking like this. There it is right there. That's all been polished, uh, glass beaded, sandblasted, polished uh, to look like new. Uh, so there it is. We have that one there. We have this one here. And then uh, we have all of the cams and carriages. Uh, here was one I just did the other day. This one has the big knob on it uh, with the different... Uh, the bigger head for the cams that go on there along with that. So uh, this would be what we have as far as the Model 15s are concerned. And then uh, over here, this is the Model 14. These are the Model 14 machines. All right, you can see that right there. Uh, we have it here. Uh, there's another one. We have one, two, three, four. We have five of them here. You can see that all cleaned up, polished. And then underneath... We have another five of them under there. Uh, so we have a total of uh, 10, I believe, in this box right here. So these have all been cleaned, they've been polished, they've been all been lubricated, all adjusted, and they all work perfectly. Now, when you're talking about locksmiths, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, the different, different uh, wheels. These are the different wheels that go with this particular, these are all the cams and carriages that fit the number 14 machine. These are the wheels. These wheels go on there and then you by adjusting them to the different depths, you go ahead and you punch your key out so that you'll have an operating key uh, to operate on these locks. For the number 15, we actually have uh, some more. These are more cams and carriages for the number 14. These are all listed out Volkswagen, Ford, GM, Chrysler, Master Padlock, uh, stuff like that. Uh, when you're talking about the uh, number 15, which is the one that we're working on now, when you're talking about that, we're talking about this. There's all the cams and the carriages. These all fit different vehicles, the Fords, the Chryslers, uh, all of that. Uh, we have some extra parts there, the more car cams and carriages. These here would be the uh, gauges that will tell you what the key cuts are. This actually, uh, this is a, uh, this actually belongs in the other box. So I'm glad I looked at that. And eh, we'll just put it in there later. So other than that, there we go with that. So we're going to go ahead and finish putting this back together. And uh, as a matter of fact, I just got done cleaning these parts. These are all parts that just came out of the parts tank, uh, all cleaned up, ready to go. This is the original box. This is made back in the 50s or 60s. Uh, you can put your cams and your carriages down there. And uh, we're going to get that all cleaned up, make that look brand new as well. So there it is, Mr. Sunshine, uh, Locksmith Eddie. Uh, we're going to actually be able to put that machine right in here. That'll be the next one. So we'll have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven of those uh, already done, ready to go. 
uh, for my clients when uh, Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie is taking care of business. There it is. I hope you're all having a great day today. Uh, no question about it. Now, Carl, let me tell you something, Carl. If we're going to sit here and talk about motorcycles, as a matter of fact, we got the motorcycle here. Uh, I just got done cleaning it up. We're all set here with that. And then uh, locksmith van. And then uh, here you go, Carl. There you go. You got the spirit of ecstasy there. Uh, as we're sitting here talking a look at a Rolls Royce. Uh, that's my personal everyday driver right there. So you're getting the opportunity to see it live right here, right now in sunny South Florida. So uh, there it is. So here I am. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of people, when I'm working, there it is, Mr. Sunshine. Woo, coming to you live. I got my apron on so I don't get all dirty over there. And uh, we're sitting here working. Uh, we're going to get this done. We're going to have that done. I'm actually going to come back live once that machine is completed. Uh, we'll put it all back together for you so you'll actually have the opportunity to see exactly how it goes here in sunny South Florida. I'm actually going to turn this back around so you can see. Uh, what we got going on here. This is Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie uh, bringing it to you live as I do each and every day. You know, everybody thinks life is a bed of roses here. Everybody thinks Mr. Sunshine's got a bed of roses. Well, let me tell you something, Daddy. Oh, I got to move this. Just one second. There you go. We'll set this over here. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and start stripping this down. We're going to make this happen, and uh, I'll bring it back to you live in just a little while. It doesn't take me long uh, to refurbish these, adjust them, and put them back to brand new. If you're a locksmith uh, anywhere around the country or around the world, and you need some help, if you have a Curtis machine, uh, this is actually the Curtis code book right here that came with it. There's the machine. Gives you some instructional tutorial video. Here's the Dodge and Plymouth Colt. This is uh, the key codes for all the vehicles. Here's the key blanks for a Dodge. Here's the F series, the 89 and up using the Y154 blank. So uh, you've got the uh, carriages here that shows you the general instructions. We then have the key codes. This would use the Y154 or Y157 blank. Uh, there's the key code. If you had the key code, you'd go ahead and put the cam on there and then you'd have it done. American Motors, Chrysler, Jeep, uh, there it is, the same exploded view of what we just took apart right now is what's laying right here. So there it is for reference. There's your key codes, Y149, 152. Uh, that would be your uh, square head or your round head. These are all the codes from Chrysler and Jeep International Harvester. Here's the international. If you have an international or a Chrysler, I don't care if it's a Dodge Roadrunner, Plymouth Barracuda, uh, big uh, Imperial, whatever it is, the code for that automobile that you have is right here. This would have all the key codes of all the vehicles uh, for the vintage classic uh, uh, Chrysler, Ford, GM, and AMC International Harvester. So there it is right there. All right, I'm going to get to work here. I got to get this done. I just figured I'd do a little video for you for your little instructional tutorial. Uh, Mr. Sunshine, Locksmith Eddie. Uh, let me tell you, uh, let me see. Um, uh, Carl, let me tell you, I've been a locksmith for 40 years in the United States of America. I know the world of locksmithing better than anybody. And a matter of fact, uh, we've made keys for Rolls Royce, Bentleys, Jaguars, Ferraris, Rolls. As a matter of fact, you know what? While we're here, we may as well. We may as well show you uh, what you got right here. This is a Freeman number two key code machine. You can cut the keys by code on this. We actually have the uh, electronic log. This is the code max. It does it automatically. Uh, if you come up here, uh, you have your Audi keys. Here's your BMW. If you have a BMW, these would be your keys here. Uh, your Datsun, Subaru. Here's your Ferrari keys. If you got a Ferrari, uh, 308, 328, 355, 
345. These are the ignition and the door keys. Here's your uh, some more of them. They have the FT30, F91C2, F91C, CR. Here's your ignition key for a Ferrari, Lamborghini. All right, the Hondas. If you have a Honda, we have the Honda keys here. Hyundai, if you got a Hyundai. Uh, Kias, we have the Kia keys. Mazda, if you got a Mazda, we got the Mazda keys. All right, Triumph. We have Mitsubishi here. Here's your Porsche key. If you got a Porsche, these would be your Porsche keys right here. Uh, we actually have some more. This is for a Porsche 356 ignition, which we've done. Renault, if you have a Renault, that's the Renault key right there with the little groove in it for the ignition. RN24, that would be your Renault. Uh, Toyota, if you got a Toyota, there's your keys for your Toyota. Uh, Volkswagen. Volkswagen, Vauxhall, uh, we've got them all here. The Volvo key, there's your Volvos. And then uh, we can go on and on and on and on and on. Uh, General Motors, you got your AMC keys, your Chrysler, your Ford. Here's your Ford H50, H51. Your old style Fords there. You got your uh, uh, European models. Here's your HD75s. These would be your Briggs & Stratton General Motors. There's the new General Motors keys, B89s. Then we come down to the transponder keys, your Saturn, the old Saturn that they had, uh, and stuff like that. Now, for the boats, there's all your boat keys, uh, Clum keys. You got your Chrysler outboard motor keys. Then we have your safe deposit box keys in a bank vault. That would be your bank vault keys right there. And then you got your Rolls Royce. This is all of the keys for the Rolls Royce. These here, these would be from the 1920s to the 30s, 40s, 50s, 70s. Uh, you're looking at the uh, HD, HE, HF, HG, uh, JB. This is for the old Rolls Royce ignition switch. All right, DM31 would fit your Rolls Royce uh, uh, lock that's on the, on the wheel. When you have a hubcap on a wheel, especially I have one out on my Rolls Royce out there, the silver rate that has the wheel lock in it. And then your tractor keys, your John Deere tractors, uh, boat keys. You also have your uh, Caterpillar, uh, also your Orion keys along with the rest. These are patio, patio door locks and stuff like that. So there it is, Mr. Sunshine Locksmith, Eddie, and uh, we're going to be sitting here live now. For the those of you with Harley motorcycles, if we and I know motorcycles, I know motorcycles better than anybody. I've done the BSAs, the Nortons. Uh, these are all your vintage Harley Davidson keys right here. You got your Harley keys. You got your Triumph keys. You've got your old Honda. The old here's your old Honda key right here. The old T style. These hit the old for when Honda first came out. Those are the keys for Honda. Then you come down here to your Honda. These are the later model Hondas. There's your transponder Honda. Kawasaki. If you're familiar with Kawasaki, these are one of the keys for your Kawasaki. Kimco. I actually just did a Kimco ignition earlier. You can watch that video. Kimco, Tao Tao, the Chinese scooters, they would fit that. You then come down here to your Suzuki keys. This is your SUZ11, most popular Suzuki key right there in the 12. And then we come over here to Yamaha. Here's all your Yamaha keys listed right here. And then uh, we have keys for your American padlocks, your arrow locks, your best Interchangeable core, your Dexter, your inner uh, Illinois and Chicago Corbin. We could go on and on and on. Here's some more keys here. Uh, these are actually pre-cut keys that we go ahead and use if you need to rekey lock. Your master padlock, your familiar quick set key, Falcon interchangeable core, fork keys, and when the list goes on and on and on. So we can sit here and talk about keys all day long uh, here in Mr. Sunshine. But the old Honda key, you want to see, here's the old Honda key. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, there's your Honda keys right here. There's your Honda keys, the T key. Uh, I need the code and I can just punch out the key just like that. Uh, most popular key would be the HD74, HD75. For the older Hondas made from the 50s and 60s, uh, it would be these keys right here. So we have those for you. So other than that, that's what we got going on right here. Uh, oh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I... I don't know if I still have it up here or not. Uh, matter of fact, let me see. Uh, where are they? 
Oh yeah, here's some of my other keys. These were some of my other vehicles. Uh, Rolls Royce keys. Uh, here was my Porsche. This was a Porsche uh, 911 right here. That was a Porsche 911 key. Uh, we actually have my Lamborghini key here. It was my Lamborghini out of Lamborghini Uraco. There's the Lamborghini keys that I kept over the years. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, some more Rolls Royce. We had nine Rolls Royces, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches. There's another set of Lamborghini keys for another one of my automobiles I had. But uh, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Now, Carl, I got something for you, Carl. I got something for you, my friend. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if I can find it this quick. Uh, here you go, Carl. This is for you, pal. This is for you. All right. I know, I know your girlfriend, your wife, your mistress is probably wondering where you're at. Well, Carl, this is what we're going to get you. All right. Your wife or your girlfriend called me. She said, Sunshine, um, uh, Carl needs to, he's been a bad boy. So we're going to have to get him situated. So we're going to get you situated. You don't have to worry about that, Carl, because uh, we're going to get you all lined up here. We're going to make sure that you're all set up so that you're not going to be cheating on your girlfriend anytime soon, okay? So there it is. <laughs> I actually have the keys for it. I don't see it right now, but uh, I did have to make a set of keys. There's the lock right there that locks it down. So there it is right there. That's for you, my friend. I hope you're having a great day, Mr. Sunshine Locksmith Eddie, coming to you live here in sunny South Florida. Thank you for watching.